you go again for me. So see that's coming in, our, there's our duction, which I shouldn't be doing. He's getting rotation here, so he's getting up trap pulling, lower trap pulling, but he's not getting adduction. So when he's at the top, there's his line there, it should be on that angle, and he's only on that angle. Come down again for me. There's his lower trap working really well. So he's still out there, he's vertical at this point. And then he's coming in. Adduction, there it is, you can see that there. And there's the stopping, so there's his winging, sitting right out, you can actually see that, right out over there, when he should be flat. Look at that. So still needs more abduction here, but his eccentric control of that thing is best. He's staying straight now. He's not going into a deduction. Gonna go again for me. So you watch this. He doesn't go into much adduction anymore. He's controlling it, and then he just needs more strength going out this way. So good improvement of that shoulder blade control. It comes down here. See, he's controlling it there, which is great. We just need more abduction and rotation that way. See our work trying to get this scapular abduction. Now, even though the band here is not connected to the scapula, right? It's connected to the hand. But what we're trying to do is get him thinking about his shoulder blade going out and following his hand. So when he's down here, he's going to keep his shoulder down. When he goes out in an abduction arc, he's thinking about that shoulder blade coming with the hand, so abducting out. That's the movement we want to try and you do to get that serratus moving. And then obviously coming, think of it coming outwards and then coming in to reset at the bottom. So here, he's got the tension on which pulls his hand out. So he's using some muscles in here to control but then he's using his serratus to think about going outwards. So we're trying to facilitate that abduction movement of the scapula to improve that serratus firing, which helps with his winging. And hopefully, doing enough reps of this, we'll show you after this to see if his, his actual abduction movement has improved. Because his control has improved with his lower trap and improving his stability coming down. We just need to get more abduction, like in that previous video. So we're going to do a little bit of this, and then we're going to see if that's improved his shoulder abduction. Note on this one, he's because he doesn't have enough abduction, what he's doing is he can't get full 180 degrees abduction. So he gets to about there, and his TA has to rise. He can't get it. There's a bit of a grimace on his face. So because he's not getting his abduction he gets to the point where he runs out of range <clears throat> in his shoulder joint and he gets impingement so what he can't do is go and force that because that's going to jam his rotator cuff and give him that impingement so that's why people who do overhead shoulder pressing without scapular movement get rotator cuff problems and impingement simply due to this so what he's allowed to do is work in the range he's got and not get any pain there you know he's getting more movement and abduction of his scapula when this gets easier, when he finds he gets better movement out into here and he can control that all the way up and down over there. Okay, so let's have a look at that and see what he's like in standing. Go again, going up, going out, forward and coming down again. got a little bit more work that way which is good so it's the start of him getting a little bit better he's still got to work on his controller quite a bit coming down you can see that wing popping out over there but it's not as bad as before there's his control work good there there it is there it is it's starting to move there so he's getting a little bit more he's got a long way to go here but it's a start here's his right shoulder and this is a, your classic example of 
the serratus weakness. So when the load is on, so this is a scapular press open chain. So it's a little bit harder because he has to stabilize the standing. But you can see how when the load comes on here, his shoulder blade wings out due to the load. And when he presses forward, he's only coming forward not too fast. See that wing there? So when he presses, go again for me. The shoulder blade is not coming around the ribs, is it? It's only coming a little bit further forward. He's not using his pecs, he's just trying to use his throat. It's not, it's just not coming forward. So this will stimulate some strengthening. That's an addition to the floor work, the closed chain work he's doing. Let's do a direct comparison. Go on the other side for me. So here's his normal shoulder. Now see how it's all flat, nice. Okay, so he goes all the way back in the traction, beautiful. Press forward. See, how, see that? See how far forward that goes? Because he's got his serratus anterior pulling that forward, which is what we want. Which we want, I should say. So pull forward. He's not using his pecs for that. It's all serratus. And that's what it should look like. Okay.